Kulingina, Mina Teresa Sainti, Luna Pakana, Milai Tinamana, Lumarana Tana, Lutuita Ti, Mina Kani Nina Tu, Nipaluna Ta. Welcome. I am Teresa Sainti, Tasmanian Aboriginal woman. My country is Lumarana Tana, or Cape Portland, in Lutuita, or Tasmania. It is my privilege to be a committee member for First Languages Australia, the national peak body working to ensure the future strength of all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander languages. We support a network of language centres, community programs and industry partners covering the whole of Australia and all of our efforts are designed to have both immediate and long-standing impact on the future of our languages. 250 years ago, these languages numbered in the hundreds, when the only occupants of the land were the original Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Today, there are around 120 still spoken, and of these, only a very small handful are considered to be in strength. The role of First Languages Australia is to support communication between the language communities, spread as they are over the vast distances of our continent, to educate the world about the importance of these as amongst oldest languages on the planet, and to advocate to our governments to meet their responsibility to bring these languages back to full strength. In all of this, one of our greatest tools is the use of powerful digital media. In Victoria, we had 38 different languages, distinct. Think of it as a concept of a mini Europe, where there are many countries, many cultures, many languages, and they're all unique and different. People who travel overseas embrace the language they embrace the words that go with the food. They embrace the celebration of the culture through language. Old people used to say, if someone got lost on country, you could use language and you could find that person because country talks back. Once we had done putting Wagamay language back on country, it had a huge impact, not only on us as custodians of this country, because it's part of our healing process and connecting us and identifying, but also it was a, an opportunity for white people to then tap into this history, this wealth of history, of knowledge of country. And the words that we used were very apt. They described a place or they were in recognition of a place or a person that came from that place. How are you? How are you? Naju butchery, Naju butchery. I am good. I get goosebumps sometimes and um you know, my heart sort of beats and I feel really good and sometimes I can sort of feel the tears swelling behind my eyes, you know? Because it is, because it's so rare these days to hear children speaking the language and when they do try, it's, it's joyful, you know, it's, it's a joyful sound. I think too the other thing with language is the power that it has. You can just have that magic of being in a beautiful surround where it embraces you and makes you feel that you belong in this place. In our language, it opens up a whole world of not just animal names and plant species, but a whole lifestyle and how to eat them, how to use them, and Yugumbe uh, Anga, how to be Yugumbe. Nation is the biggest in New South Wales, but second biggest in Australia. We've got it in three primary schools, a thousand children a week in parks as get being taught 
a Aboriginal language and Aboriginal culture of the district. We only come from a town of 10,000 people. That's one tenth of the population. So we have a full generation of people in parks that will grow up knowing Aboriginal culture, knowing Aboriginal words, respecting Aboriginal ground. And that's why it will change people's lives. Wamindjaka, Wurundjeri Balak, Yemen Kundibik. You are most welcome to the traditional lands of the Wurundjeri people. About 10 years ago, we began to focus on the power of digital media to promote awareness, respect and engagement with first languages to the Australian public. We began a huge promotional campaign for all of our languages, similar to what the United Nations International Year of Indigenous Languages was designed to do. And we negotiated the support of our national broadcaster, the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, or ABC. Through the partnership we have now created over 300 videos and countless program hours that speak really beautifully of the importance of the languages to our people and the meaning of the traditional place names that have previously been largely unknown. Our voices are being heard. One is more. Boy. Telling Dungari stories to me. What's that mountain over there? Dungari name is Baro Barai. This is Rosetta. She teaches us culture and language. She's lived in this area her whole life, and all of her ancestors have too. And that's why she knows a lot about it. Loni Mungalina was named by the Tasmanian Aboriginal community. It's a special place for us because we can come here to collect ochre. ABC Radio M. Neighbor Wargame, Girame, BA Numburu. Gangalida and Ankumuti. Ratauti, Epe, ABC Radio, Gewa, Asra Wem. Pebi no signali, Merlam, Karamir, Pekeredi, Meriamir, and you are listening to ABC Radio. Palamba Joanga go, Nyawalimba. Nyagomandang, Mora Wandi, Nyabru Garapalinam, Yini Wandi, Yurugani. This place is very important for young men's ceremony. For the Jajabarang, we have a kinship law with the Tongarong. The Tongarong people are the people from the east. The Aboriginal names or the Noongar names are very significant because they've got stories behind them. Unless you're willing to listen and to share those names, you'll never understand the connection to country. Sleep, little baby, sleep. Yanman Wallabai Yanman, performed in Bachelor. Bulla Wallabai Milna Burrell, Bulla Wallabai Binang Baringa Kunda Yalan. First Languages Australia is proud to be now taking our place on the UNESCO Global Task Force for the Decade of Indigenous Languages, where the outcomes will address the burning and urgent issues facing languages like ours around the world. In particular, we want to see the wisdom, the passion and the ancient knowledge of our elders passed on to our children. It's our job to inspire them so that their strong young voices carry these languages proudly and loudly into the future. I have co-written songs in my language, Palawakani, and I'm now proud to share with you all an excerpt of one. Liini Milatina Rala, or Singing Country Strong. Nairi Nina Tu. Thank you. Liini Milatina 
So 